What up, everybody? It's your boy Tyler here from our Not So Different Brand fam. I just wanted to say, man, are any of y'all out there struggling with self-identification or, you know, the fact of fitting in? Good. Because in this video, I'm going to share with you how I got through them stages and how I finally found myself and my purpose in life. Stay tuned. What up, we're not so different brand fan, man. Welcome back. I just wanted to say, man, I wanted to start this one out by saying, man, listen, we're not so different. You hear me? And I mean that wholeheartedly. Now, why I started this whole brand behind me, we're not so different, is because I wanted to make a difference in the world. You know, I wanted to give people a purpose. I wanted people to see that at the end of the day, we're not so different. We have so many common similarities, you know. Um, but our main focus is the fact that we're all one race. And you all have heard me say this time and time again. We're all the human race, okay. So we each share that, you know. Um, I don't know how many people out there are believers, but I believe in God. And I know we're all God's children, you know. And I hate how the world today is literally segregating everybody. And it's, you know, it's making just, it's, it's just tearing people apart, and I can't stand it, and it really bothers me at times. Um, but I definitely wanted to make this video, man. I'm going to title this video, We're Not So Different. And my main focus for this video was self-identification. Um, you know, not fitting in, not feeling as, as part of the crowd, you know, not really knowing who you are and where you want to go in life. You know, because I've had all these struggles that I'm speaking of, and it really bothered me growing up because I never knew who I was. I never knew who I wanted to be. I never had a purpose, you know, and I feel as if I finally found that purpose, man. And YouTube has helped me do that. You know, I'm so grateful for YouTube because YouTube has allowed me to express who I am on a platform that shares it with everybody. And that's the amazing thing about it, you know, because I can get on here and I can share these videos with you guys, you know, and whether or not that you can relate and resonate with what I'm saying really makes it so much worth it, you know, putting out content that people actually enjoy. Okay, that's nice, you know, I do a lot of entertainment stuff, but what about content that people can actually relate to and they feel the words that are coming out of your mouth? That's what I want to be able to relate to. That's where I'm going to stand out and be a little different. That's why every Monday and Friday, I make videos like these. I call them self-help vlogs. You can call them whatever you want. But my purpose is, is to help join people, you know, bringing us together, showing that we do have common similarities. But let's jump into it, man. Um, I was very lost in self-identification. A um, little background on myself, you know, I was raised in a very abusive home. Um, I seen my mother get beat um, the first seven years of my life. And it was very hurtful to see my mother go through them things and to see her struggle like that. And I always wanted to be there and I wanted to be her superhero, you know, her savior, per se. And I never could because I was so young. You know, I wasn't strong. I didn't have no strength about me. I was a little scrawny kid growing up. They used to call me Stick Man. That was my, my nickname when I was a kid. And I always wanted to fight these battles for her, man. And one time I tried, I remember my stepdad grabbed me from behind it. I jumped on his back and grabbed him around the neck. And he grabbed me like I was a rag doll and threw me across the room. Like I was nothing. Like I was weightless. And I really realized there at that point, I had to strive to become powerful to where my mom would no longer get beat up. Because I would no longer stand for seeing my mother get beat on. Thank God she finally got out of that abusive relationship. And um, the man that she was with actually ended up um, killing his wife. He's in prison right now for murder. And um, I'm just glad it wasn't my mom, you know. But as crazy as it sounds, you know, I still looked at him as a dad. I called him dad, you know, even through all that. You know, it's kind of messed up, but I mean, it's the truth. And on here, I don't lie, as you all know. I'm very open and I'm very honest about me and what I've been through. But moving on. So I grow older and I, like I said, I wanted to become powerful. So I'm literally beating up all my mom's boyfriends after that. I've pretty much fought every one of them besides the one she's with now. 
which, you know, I did try one day and he pulled a sword on me. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. My mom had to get in between if she was crying and shit. Like, please, son, no, he'll kill you. Like, I'm just, you know, you're not going to make my mother cry. So, <laughs> my biggest thing was seeing that growing up, I never wanted to be that. I never wanted to be a man that put his hands on a woman. So, I made sure that I never did that. So, now, my, my point is for this is that I want to stand up and I want to be a role model. I want to be an example. I want to influence people. That domestic violence isn't cool. You know, I, I don't stand for that. If you're a man and you put your hands on a woman, you're soft. You are the B word and you know exactly what word I'm talking about. I do not stand for that. That's one thing I do not like. I've never done it before in my life and I never will. When you see your mother get beat, it does something to you. It really does, man. And, and, it, and it affected me growing up. And I got on the drugs very early, you know. Very early in my life, I started using, and I used these drugs because it was my way to escape. It was my way to not deal with the reality at hand. It was my way to get away from whatever it was going on in my household and my life, whatever it was that was really bothering me. And it worked. It worked great. See, drugs is the one thing in my life that was consistent. It was the one thing that was always there for me to hold me when I was feeling some type of way. And then when I finally realized that, I was self-medicating. I was using drugs because I didn't want to deal with the reality of my life. And I was running from it. But finally, there was a time in my life when I finally stood. And I said, this is enough. I'm going to stand for what I believe in. And I'm doing my best to change and become the man that I always dreamed I would be. And I was lost for some time. Really lost. You know, my idols was drug dealers and rappers and all this shit in today's age that looks very appealing. You know, when you watch a music video, hey, that's very appealing. I get it. But what's reality? What are these people, how are they really living their lives? It's not what you see in the music videos. <laughs> not usually. And when I finally realized that that's not what I wanted to be anymore, I knew something had to change. I knew that I had to do something different, you know, and it all started with this idea that I was going to make a YouTube channel and I was going to help other addicts, people with mental health disabilities like myself and suicidal ideations, and I was going to make a stand for them people. And I was going to make sure that their voice was heard because I was going to make sure mine was heard and I'm speaking for every single one of them, you know, and a lot of times we get looked at and shunned upon because we're addicts. But the whole reason we use drugs is because we're covering up the fact of us hurting inside. You know, and instead of seeking medication the correct way and going to a psychiatrist, we use drugs because it, it numbs that pain. It takes away that feeling of, oh my God, I'm worthless and I have no ambitions, no dreams. You know, it makes your life worth living at the time because it's fun at first. But then it literally takes away every bit of self-pride, every bit of self-will that you have. And you become, it becomes your master. You become a slave to it. Because then you wake up every morning and you cannot move until you have that. And I'm speaking for all the addicts out there, man, when I say this. It's not fun. It may be at first, but there begins to be a time that it takes over. And we no longer choose. Because it takes away that choice. So then we seek salvation, right? We want to get clean. We want to change our lives. So we find a rehab. We get into rehab like I did. Um, matter of fact, got my certificate right here, you know, that I completed. And we finally get that clarity. So then when we get clean, our choice is no longer taken from us. We have a choice from that day. And a lot of us go back out and relapse. And I say that because I have. I'm one of them people, okay? I'm a chronic relapser. I've been to rehab 11 different times. But this time, something actually clicked. And what that thing was, was the will to become an influencer. To actually help those that are just like me and don't want to live that pain no more. They want to let go of it. But they can't because they're lost and they don't know what next step to take. And they're so lost because the main reason of why we get caught up in that is because we feel as if we're worthless, that we have no purpose, 
And I tell you guys, man, and, and, and I speak from the bottom of my heart when I say this. When you find that purpose, when you really realize that you're worth it, oh my God, the possibilities are endless, okay? I'm online right now and I'm taking classes to be a, a peer recovery supporter. And what this does is it allows me to get addicts and to acclimate them back with the community to help them find jobs. It, 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 it gives me that outlet to go and help people just like me to help better their lives. See, because when we're addicts, we get lost because we no longer feel as if we have a purpose. We feel as if that purpose was taken away from us. So if we don't get acclimated back with the community, why are we living? You know, we don't have them relationships no more. And life is built on making relationships. If you think about it, Adam and Eve, they're a relationship. You know, we was put here to get in relationships. That's why we have that dying need inside of us to want somebody, you know. And when we finally realize that we can actually be an influence and that people would actually look at us as good, because as addicts, we feel as if everybody looks at us like we're pieces of, you know, scum of the earth. But when you gain that purpose again, when you get that sense of relief, bro, the whole world changes because you finally realize that, hey, a dope fiend like myself can change the way I'm living, find a purpose in life, and actually change somebody else's. And that's when the magic happens, man. That's when everything that you went through and all that pain, you finally realize, like, everything I did in my past was not in vain. There was a purpose for my suffering. My purpose for my suffering was to give you guys the way out. To show you guys that a guy like me can change, so why can't you? You know? That's the beauty of it, man. When you finally get to that realization that, hey, be that hope shot for the next one. Dude, the people that come to me, man, and talk to me about what's going on in their life and, you know, and I just give them simple advice and, you know, experience strength and hope on what I went through. And when they tell me that that helped them out of their pain, bro, the feeling behind that is so amazing. It's, I mean, it's, there's not a high out there like that, you know. So what I challenge you all to do out there, man, is go out today. Find somebody that you know is having a rough day and their life sucks. Maybe they may be an addict, but know that they're using because they're covering up their pain. They don't want to feel it no more. That's why they use. They want to be numb. Go out there and help them people today. Do something outside of yourself. Become selfless and help somebody. And watch how good it feels, man. I promise you there's no high like it. But anyways, man, I thank you guys for tuning in, man. This is We're Not So Different. And I'm even going to title it, We're Not So Different, because we have all got common similarities, man. Thank you guys so much. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you already subscribed, make sure you hit that bell, man. Get part of the notification. Ding, ding, ding. Because if you don't hit that bell, you might not get my content. <laughs> Trust me, you probably won't. But anyways, man, thank you all, man. I love you so much. Bye for now. Peace. Bye-bye now.